name is Sarah Bussey, and I am the owner operator of Arch of Olds, which is a very special new restaurant um, open in downtown Lawrence on 10th Street, right in between Laugh Out Loud and India Palace. And I have a degree in business management, so I have a little bit of paperwork to back up my experience. But more importantly, I've got 20 years experience in food service and grocery. Um, my most recent experience in grocery is at Natural Grocers for about two years, and I also worked at the Merck Co-op. Some of you might recognize me from serving you from behind the deli. Um, I learned a lot at both of those places and got a lot of inspiration for how I chose to structure Archbold's and operate it. Um, have been in business since March of 2017. And there's a cute little picture of what to look for when you're driving off the street looking for the storefront. So started Archbold's at the Lawrence Farmer's Market in 2017. It was a really fun place and a really supportive place to start a business. A great way to present the food to the general public and see how people received it. And it's very unique and special, really high quality ingredients. Everything is handmade with love. Needless to say, it was really well received at the Lawrence Farmer's Market and uh, sort of gave us a boost to go ahead and move into the storefront and get going on having a real legit restaurant. What is the most special thing about Archibalds is the tamale pies, because you really can't find these anywhere else. They don't exist. I made them up. I decided to <laughs> package the specialty chilies that we make in a pie to make it more accessible, get people to try them out, and boy does it work. Put something into a pie, and people are just like, yeah, I'll try that. Um, one of the other special things about it, though, is not just that it's a very unique food item that you really can't get anywhere else. The entire restaurant is gluten-free. Dedicated, gluten-free kitchen. Um, we are the only restaurant that's doing this in Lawrence, folks. If you have a friend that is gluten-sensitive or even has celiac disease, this is the only place they can go eat and order anything on the menu and feel safe that they're not going to have any reactions. They can walk out nice and full and that's one of the funnest things about it is seeing families come in, especially with young children who never get to go out to eat and get this treat and they come in at our tools and they eat and they leave so happy and full and satisfied and they're like, it's just the best thing that's happened to us in so long, thank you, it just makes me feel so good. Another thing that I get a lot of gratitude for in the way that we're operating that place is how vegan friendly it is. You'd be surprised how hard it is to find a good vegan meal in a town like Lawrence, but it, it really can be challenging, especially if you've got a meat eater on this side and a vegan on this side. You both want to eat together. Archibalds can accommodate that. Not only that, if you are going to get any kind of meat or dairy in your food at Archibalds, you can be sure it will not come from a factory farm. That is one of the first things that we built into the business plan and will always remain an essential part of how we run the restaurant. Is we do not buy anything from factory farms when it comes to meat and dairy. We never will. And I probably don't need to tell an audience like this just how bad factory farms are for the soil and for the animals and for the, just the pollution in the area. But yeah, they're really, really bad. We need to stop buying products from them and supporting them and supporting that whole culture. And Archibald really wants to be a big, big part of that. Bringing it more into the forefront, making it more into the conversation, making it more of a demand of consumers for other restaurants. Well, where do you get your meat? Are you buying your meat from Tyson? Because we kick Tyson out of Tom and Oxy and we can kick all these factory farms out of Kansas. We just tried. So basically, what this boils down to is we have this really great, unique restaurant. All these wonderful attributes that make it friendly for allergy, people who care about animal welfare, people who care about soil health. How can we help it to grow? Well, a lot of these other restaurants have this big marketing budget and they can send out mailers and have ads plastered all over and billboards. Archibalds just needs a little bit of help with that too. We just need to get the word out 
Lawrence is the kind of town that is really receptive to a restaurant like Archibald's. Let me ask you guys a question. How many people here have heard about Archibald's before it got on your radar because of tonight's meeting? Can you give me a little raise your hands? Okay, so yeah. Maybe 10% at a generous estimate from the hand raising, so not a lot of people here have heard about this restaurant. And you probably would want to come check it out if you had heard about it because of all these wonderful things. Gluten free, free range, vegan friendly, small family owned, local. The food is amazing! The food is amazing, you guys. These tamale pies are over the top. So we just need to get the word out. And that's why I'm here tonight asking for uh, an investment in helping to get the word out, get advertising, product, boosting, and um, just help Lawrence and surrounding areas get more aware that there's this fantastic restaurant that they're not getting to enjoy yet. So that pretty much sums it up, and uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for coming.